year. And then obviously watching Tommy, that was uh, it was great to see Tommy. And and uh, you know we have other Ricky down there and TJ and Ken and uh, uh, Rem. Uh, so that was a special uh, special thing also. Coach, you, t- you take so much energy with the fans who obviously bring their own weather system. You haven't played down in Portland for quite a long time. What kind of atmosphere are you expecting? And compared to last year, what kind of advantage do you think it gives your guys? Yeah, I mean, I don't know advantage-wise or whatever. It's just it's great. Uh, I, I know it'll be a great environment. We have a lot of Zag fans uh, down there, obviously, uh, my family and uh, you know relatives and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, but uh, it, it's always been a great place for us uh, 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 to play uh, over the years in, in neutral court events and, and everything. And we've, uh, we've definitely played the Moda Center and uh, uh, you know, looking forward to it. Hey, I mean, it's 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 tough. It's tough. I mean, because you want to root for them every game, but at this point, it's the NSA tournament. So, you know, it's just about who you're going to play next and and getting the win. So, I'm sure that that'll be the the, the definitely the thoughts on our uh, minds. Second year in a row, you've got teams that you've played during the season. I think Duke and Texas Tech are possibilities down the road. Yeah. Is that advantage, disadvantage? What, how do you, what do you make of it? I mean, they're, they're so far down the road. I mean, I don't even know. I mean, we'll cross that bridge when we have to. So that's, we just need to try to win on Thursday. You know, I've, I've been in this tournament long enough. You start worrying about games down the road, you're sitting at home. So uh, we'll just dial in. We'll start learning about Georgia State here and then obviously start breaking down uh, Memphis and Boise State. and. Every, they'll get our full attention, you know, again, because being Thursday, we only have two more practices, basically. And uh, then it's just kind of walkthroughs and stuff like that. Right, now that the bracket's been fully released here, and you know sort of your road, what's the initial message that you gave to the team? Just what I just said. I mean, it's a fool's errand to look down the road. Uh, there's so many good teams. There's so much, uh, so many good players now, and, and with the – COVID rules, there's a lot of these teams have these older six-year guys as, as we face throughout this whole season. Uh, so that I think that's really raised the level of play up. So we just, you got to focus up on the first game. We just got down with a two, uh, two-game tournament weekend. And that's what this is. This is a, you know, two-game tournament. Uh, if you don't win the first one, you don't get the second one. So. But if you win the first one, then then it's all about, you know, that second one. So uh, we'll just dial into these three teams and get these guys ready to hopefully play their best. What does it mean to, to be a number one overall seed for the second straight year? And I imagine 20 years ago, if you would have imagined that, it would have been pretty hard to, to envision that happening. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, impossible to ever envision that. Uh, and it's it's amazing uh, accomplishment. Uh, we I touched on it after the game. Uh, um, you know, it's a it's a it's a reward for being good for f- four months or four and a half months. This tournament is a reward for you know being good for three weeks. Um, so I mean, I, I think it's 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 just an amazing accomplishment by this group and and last year's group and and these number one seeds that we've been able to earn is also. Uh, uh, just simply uh, another uh, amazing accomplishment by the, the guys in the program. Obviously, you don't get the four bed WCC, but still three teams in. Yeah. And obviously, one that hasn't been in for quite some time. Just how cool is that for you to see this league expanding and to see a team like USF being able to get into the field? Yeah, well, there's a lot of drama. They're the last uh, <laughs> basically kind of mystery team. Uh, Name. There was only one more spot left for him, but uh, you know, I think we were all hoping for four, but it, reality kind of set in there at the end for three, and three's a heck of a uh, accomplishment. And, and then the seeds were really good too for getting three teams in. So uh, hopefully we can all get some wins, and that'll help out the league, uh, uh, you know, treasure chest, and, and uh, kind of help everybody out. Touched on Tommy for a bit. Uh, what's the most impressive thing he's done 
turn that around and, and, and be the number one seed in, in less than 12 months there? Uh, I mean, they've just done a good job of, uh, you know, of just the, you watch that team play. I mean, they, they, there's a lot of similarities, but he's, you know, he's done a good job with the personnel that was already there. And, and uh, I think they, he, he, he got them to play confidently, got them to play together. He got taught them to believe in themselves. And, and, and the, you know, again, Sh Sean had a good program going down there. And, and there are some very, very good players. So I think that's important that, you know, uh, that that's talked about too. Uh, but Tommy did a great job, like we, we all knew he would. I mean, he's a, he's a, a great coach. He's got a great feel, and, and uh, it's just fun for, you know, to, to get to see him play. I haven't really had that many opportunities to sit down and watch a whole game. So it was, that, that, that's what was really uh, cool. I think uh, Mitch's shot was important. Yeah, it was. Is that the yeah. first yep. thing that you remember or highlighted that? I don't know if that's the first thing I remember. Just you know, I know we, we we I don't know if that's the only time we've been down there. We were obviously there for the PK85, and I think we've played a couple other games down there, neutral, and obviously playing in Portland, we always have uh, great support there. And then just geographically looking, I mean, it's an it's an easy drive for our fans in the Northwest. So I think that's kind of what I was focusing on. All righty. Here we are. Thank you. Yep, yep. It's tough. I feel presidential out here. Yes, sir. The G squad. They just made this. We're rolling? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big show. Anton, how, how cool is it to see this program get a second consecutive uh, one seed? And you've been a Spokane guy for a long time. And program wasn't uh, doing things like that so it was kind of special for you to see that no nah, it, it's, it's very special and uh, I think we take it for granted sometimes because we had so much success the past couple of years but uh, you know we got to enjoy it right now and it's pretty special that we get to do it back to back years Nah, it's uh, it's definitely super cool. Uh, and it's a lot of fun to do it with you know this group of guys, uh, this group of coaching staff. Um, you know, it's definitely a special experience to be able to see it firsthand. Um, but you know, I think it's even crazier when you kind of step out and try and see it from you know a different perspective. Uh, you know, like if I think back to me as a little kid, like I definitely wouldn't see myself here. So uh, definitely blessed. Chad, you mentioned thinking back to being a little kid. Do you have any memories? Of uh, I don't think there's one that stands out, you know. I used to watch all the tournaments and stuff, um, and, you know, they're always special. You know, there's always buzzer beaters every year, you know. Everybody talked about Jalen's last year, but it seems like there's one every single year in men's and women's basketball, and, you know, they're pretty crazy, crazy to watch. guys you know in the tournament, especially from that U19 team? Talking to me? Uh, yeah. Uh, there's there's, there. Yeah, there's a good handful. Uh, Johnny with Wisconsin, Jaden with Purdue, um, kind of trying to go down the roster. Uh, TCU. Uh, TCU. Miles. Yep, Miles. Uh, Peyton from UCLA. Uh, you know, there's a lot of guys uh, on that team, and it just speaks to the team that we had over the summer. You know, it's just a group of winners. Uh, you know, that's why their teams are in, are in uh, March Madness, so. You all stay together at all text, that kind of stuff, keep up? Uh, yeah, we were definitely, uh, you know, checking in with each other. Um, but, you know, as we got to this part of the season, you know, it's definitely kind of been, you know, 
we were once teammates, but not anymore. So it's kind of been focusing on you know the teams that we're on now, and then I'm sure once the season's over, you know, we'll all be uh, super friendly again. Not that we're not now. We're just kind of cut off communication a little bit. Anton, having gone through it a couple of times, what do you want to see, especially in an opener where you're going to be heavily favored uh, mindset-wise? What do you want to see? Uh, just for us to come out and play hard. Uh, I think that's just the main thing. Um, I think that the game we lost, we didn't come out and play hard and give all our effort. But like, we can't go back now. Um, once we lose, it's over. So I think the first game, is that, that's our mindset, is just come out with that intensity. I heard you guys kind of erupt in the room when uh, USF was announced uh, that they were kind of one of the last teams. What was it like to, to hear that and, and see three teams from your conference? Did you guys know, know pretty well uh, make the field? Uh, I, I think we were just worried that they weren't about to get picked. So, uh, yeah, I think yeah, it was when, like the last selection for them. No, and they got it. So thanks. once they got picked, like we were just like, okay, there you go. So, you know, they had a crowd, so it would have been sad if they didn't got picked. So, you know, it's cool to see three teams from the WCC in the tournament. Any advice for whoever's playing St. Mary's? I haven't seen them so much. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we're gonna keep the secrets. <laughs> yeah. You know, but. Anton, what was it like to see uh, Tommy in Arizona get a get a one CD? Everyone here kind of knows him pretty well, whether they were recruited by him, played played with him. To see uh, Coach Few and Tommy get through the top seeds is pretty crazy, right? Nah, it's really crazy. Um, especially with how much criticism he was getting at the beginning of the season, of like they wanted a different coach. You know, he's one of the best coaches in college basketball, just like Coach Few. And um, you know, it's really exciting to see him do that. And like players like Big O. You know, I'm just I'm just proud of them right now. I watched the game yesterday, so it was cool. It's excited. Just excited. This is a huge time of the year. Super excited. Like I really like haven't been to the real tournament since freshman year with fans and everything, the full experience. So I was telling guys about that the other day. So I was super excited just to get over there and start the games, see what we're playing. You have, you have a unique, unique experience being with two different teams. What are you telling the freshmen? Um, just how hard the path is to win six games against the top 68 teams in the country. Um, and how together we have to be during that time, and just um, just locking in. This is the time of year to kind of like let let loose and just, and just give it your all. So um, that's what I'm talking. About. It's been pretty special to be a number one overall seed for the second straight year. I know, I know that doesn't really matter if you don't win the game, but mm -hmm. um, just to have that honor and for, for a program that hasn't always had that success, mm -hmm. it's cool to see that. Definitely, definitely, it's, it's, a, it's an honor to be in this position. Um, very unique position I got put into being on two of these top one like overall seeds. Uh, super blessed um, and excited for, for every team's best punch against us. Andrew, how many Canadians are in it? Do you know just by watching the brackets, you probably got an idea? I'm Kevin uh, and too. Man, this Canadian there's basketball is growing, there. growing a lot, so there's there's more than I think for sure. There's Boise State got like two or three. I know they're, they're right right close to us in the bracket. Um, man, I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. you played the Boise game? Yeah. Somewhere? I played with um, Emmanuel Acob. We played on the national team together. And then Abu, I've played him when I was younger. I used to play against him a couple times. Yeah. You were on a team last year that came so close to a national championship. Is there anything in the back of your mind of sort of redemption? You want to finish this one out? Definitely. One last run. Is there any kind of that mentality going into this tournament? Yeah, definitely. Definitely a sense of redemption. Um, also, just don't want to take for granted what we did last year and how hard it was to get to even just to get to that point. So, I just want to take it game by game and step by step, um, not look too far in the future.
Sounds about good, fellas. Yes, sir. Uh, what's it like to, to be number one overall seed for the second straight year? There's there's not a lot of programs that can say that they've done that. And Gonzaga certainly 15, 20 years ago, that would have been a pretty distant thought for them. Oh, uh, I mean that's that's the reason I came here. You know, it's such a winning culture here, and it's something that we pride ourselves on. So to be able to come out here and get those get those one season tournament, I mean, that's really big for us, and uh, it's really rewarding. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's something I've always dreamed of, you know, playing in those March Madness games. The atmosphere is always looking crazy when I was younger. I mean, I always wanted to be in those in those moments. So I'm excited. I know that the uh, Zags fans will show out, especially in the Pacific Northwest. So, I mean, it'll, it'll be really exciting. You played a lot of neutral site games this season. Do you think that gives you any kind of advantage with some of these other teams that may have not played in those kind of environments before? Uh, for sure. I mean, I feel like... Those, those sites do take some uh, getting used to, you know, playing in bigger arenas and, you know, not playing on your normal normal courts in your conference and stuff. So I feel like all those neutral side games definitely give us uh, an advantage over those who haven't. I think Georgia State has a guy that played at Finley Prep. He's a senior uh, from Vegas. I don't know if you're familiar with him. Have you? Nah. Roberts, maybe? Nah, Justin, I have Justin Roberts. Justin Roberts? Nah, I, I don't He's a know. Years okay. Yeah. And those friendly prep guys, a lot of them aren't weren't from Vegas. I don't think they were allowed to recruit from Vegas. So, but but I mean, I was we had a couple of scrimmages against Finley when I was in high school, so that was always really fun. Yeah, a lot of connections with other players that are in the field after seeing the tournament bracket. You yeah, know a lot of the guys. yeah. I mean, we we all were texting a little bit, FaceTime, and going back and forth. You know, I was just on the phone with one of my friends from uh, LSU. We're talking about his draw. So I mean, it's it's really cool to just see all of us kind of you know living in a living in a moment and enjoying it. I mean, we dreamed of playing in March Madness and all these big college games. So I mean, it's really cool for all of us to see each other winning. Who's the LSU kid? Uh, Mawani Wilkinson. Okay. Yeah. How, how are you personally approaching this this year than last year? Uh, I mean, my role is uh, vastly different compared to last year. You know, I'm uh, starting playing a lot more minutes. So, I mean, it's a, it's a really different approach because, you know, I'm a part of those uh, crucial moments in these elimination games, and, you know, I play a big role in, in what's going on. So, just going there with a completely different mindset, knowing that we're playing elimination basketball, and, you know, every moment, every game matters. Not as wide-eyed as you were last year, you were more seasoned. And yeah, for sure. I mean, there's, there's a little bit less nerves, you know, going in to, you know, now that I know what it's like and, uh, you know, the, the road that it takes to get to where you want to go. Given you the speech about 16 versus one in Virginia a few years ago. Ah, uh, they Did have. You to see that game, by chance? Uh, yeah, that was that was actually really really crazy. I think that year I had I got I had Virginia going really far in my bracket when I was in high school or whatever. So I was really disappointed. But um, you know, Coach Few just told us earlier today, and you know, you can't look too far ahead in the bracket. Can't see about who you're going to play second or second weekend or things like that because you know there is no next game if you don't handle the one that's in front of you. So I mean. That's our that's our approach and that's our mindset. Pretty much everyone on this roster was either recruited by Tommy Willard or played for Tommy. So, what was it like to see him get a get a number one seed in first year at Arizona and get the connection here? Uh, I mean, it was really cool. I mean, I'm always rooting for him. So to see him succeed and have all the success that he is over there at Arizona, I mean, it's really cool for me, and I'm really happy for him. Thank you, guys.
I feel like yeah, the mayor. see your name pop up there and then the number one seat overall as well? Uh, and I think just kind of part of the program now, it's kind of the expectation that we aim for. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a little rewarding for sure after of how much of a grind the season is and how many tough games we had this year and just all the ups and downs we had too, you know, to finish back up on top. But uh, it doesn't mean anything now, but regular season wise, it's cool. on Georgia State? You know, a player, a connection, anything? Uh, didn't they have that uh, one dude a couple years ago, father-son connection that was pretty wild? Was that that team? Was that the, was that? Yeah, so that's, I know them from that, yeah. So that'd be cool. But uh, they, they won their league, I'm assuming. So, you know, they're, they're gonna be a tough older team. So it'll definitely be a battle. Can't wait to break some film down and just get the scout ready for them. Coach P was talking Oh, for sure. I think, I think especially in college, you can really tell the difference between freshman and fifth and sixth year guys. I mean, that's the one thing about our conference. I think the reason why our conference was especially so good this year was just how many older guys we had in the league, how many guys have been around, know what it takes, know how to get things done, and just, you know, they know when that wall comes and how to get through that wall. So I think, obviously, experience never hurts a team, and it'll make, it'll make a lot of teams tough, and I feel like it, it's primed for a bunch of upsets this year. Battled them all year, San Francisco and St. Mary's, but to see them on the bracket, um, take a little pride with that with the conference. Yeah, we definitely were cheering for them when they made it. They're uh, really great teams, and we thought they deserved to make it. We were we were sweating a little bit for San Francisco. I, that one came down pretty close, but uh, definitely glad to see them make it. They more than deserved it the way they played this year, and I think it's just a testament to how good our conference was this year. I think we had as many teams make it as the Pac-12, so. All this Power Five stuff, you know, it's getting pretty old now. <laughs> Are you looking forward to having a more authentic tournament experience after you obviously did go your freshman year and then last year in the bubble, and this year you get the full fan experience and moving around to different sites? And yeah, I think it'll be exciting and really feel like March. You know, last year was great, and but it kind of just felt like a tournament. Like I, it, it, it wasn't what I imagined growing up with March Madness to be, so I'm excited to get a real taste of it this year. Uh, Tommy and uh, Arizona pick up the number one seed. How, how cool is that to have you know, your coach and, and, and your former assistant coach both uh, be two of the four uh, top seeds there? It's super cool. Um, and we're not surprised, though. I mean, such great coaches and players over there, you know, and even Big O has been dominating over there. So we love just keeping keeping tabs on them and checking in on them. And uh, they deserve it. They're a really good team. And, uh, but yeah, we're really not surprised that they are where they are just because of how good of a coach Tommy is too. I mean, he really made this program go as well, you know, with coach all those years. So it's great to see them succeed. Did you text Omar after they got announced or did he, did he text you or anything like that? Or? No, we texted, we texted yesterday, last night when they won it, but uh, I haven't talked to him yet. But uh, yeah, we were excited for them. And we, we knew it was coming. We expected that from them and, you know, they expect that from us. It's kind of just how the uh, zag way goes. Talk to any of the younger guys about your, your guys' experience last year as far as uh, Chet, Nolan, Hunter, who, who haven't experienced it, and, and just uh, kind of giving people some advice as far as how to handle it or what's coming kind of this week now. Yeah, we've definitely talked about, that's something we've talked about since the summer. Um, it's definitely something that we use as a tool to fuel the fire as well as just, you know, ramp our batteries when they're feeling a little drained. So uh, they know the feeling, they know from us what it's like, and uh, we feel like we're prepared for the moment and everything that comes with it. So uh, we're looking forward to the journey for sure. Is there a day that's gone by where you haven't thought about the national championship game from last year? Or have you kind of put it behind you and moved forward? Or? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think about it every day or anything. <laughs> I mean, it happened. Uh, I would say I think about it a little bit, but uh, 
it's nothing that haunts me or, you know, makes me, like, feel bad. Like, in the moment it felt bad, but it happened, and you can either soak and sulk about something or you can make the best of it. So uh, definitely just taking positives from that, and hopefully it'll help us this year. Sure, it's definitely why I came here. Just talk a little bit about that. What it means to you in order to Uh, you know, it means a lot to me. You know, it's my fourth year, but it's also my first time making the tournament. So, you know, it definitely feels good to be a part of March. You know, sitting there watching the selection show with the guys. You know, seeing where we're at, who we're playing, seeing the bracket stuff. It was exciting for me. So it was definitely, it was definitely good for me for sure. There's some kind of validation by by making it here and winning the WCC and all the success you've had. And I know it was a kind of tough offseason for you, and you had to make it. Um, I mean a little bit, you know, uh, but I think this is more, you know, kind of proving to myself, you know, who I who I am, you know, what I can be, you know, what I can do for a team. So, you know, but yeah, I think it's a little validation for sure. They, they might ask, but to be the overall number one seed after coming from a two and twenty-two, yeah. how does that feel when you see that come up on the court? Uh, I mean, you know, it definitely feels good. You know, it's definitely a big turnaround from last season. But, uh, you know, you know, now being the number one overall seed, you know, we got to go out there and get some things done. So, you know, this is the exciting part to get out, get out there and go play. I don't imagine you have any problem overlooking somebody. You, that probably doesn't register. <laughs> nah, nah, not at all. Where do you think you guys have uh, kind of grown as a team since the first, the first week of the season? Do uh, you kind of feel like you're, you're peaking right now heading into March? Um, you know, I think we've grown a lot, you know, as far as, you know, getting to know each other, the team chemistry, the way we're playing, how we're rolling and trusting each other. So, you know, I definitely think that's come along, uh, come along great throughout the season. Uh, as far as peaking, you know, maybe we are, you know, maybe we're still getting better. So, you know, we'll see. But at the end of the day, we just got to go out there and win games no matter where we're at. For sure. Have you spoken to the guys about their experience last year in the tournament? And can you sense that they really want to get back to the, the title game and kind of make up for that, that loss? Uh, yeah, you know, they've been, you know, talk about it all season, you know, what, what happened last year, you know, they don't want that to happen again, and, you know, hopefully we can go on that same run this year, you know, finish the deal off, so it's definitely a goal of ours as a team, you know, we come together as a unit to try and get it done for sure. Is that Iowa State get in? Uh, yeah, they got the uh, 11 seed, they play LSU. Yes, sir. Have you texted with any of your former teammates yet, or? Uh, yeah, I texted a couple of them, so, you know, I'm probably take a couple more of them today, you know, congratulate them, you know, hopefully they get the win, you know, keep rolling through the tournament, for sure. It's hard when you want to watch all your former teammates and, and different guys around the country, but you also have to kind of focus on what you guys are doing, play your own game, you can't really watch it as a fan when you're a player. Yeah, that's, that's true, yeah, you know, got to stay focused on, you know, what we got going on, but, you know, I might tune in for a few minutes, you know, lock back in and what we got going on, definitely. Nerves for a first NCAA tournament game? Uh, a little bit, you know, just uh, you know, waiting to see the atmosphere, you know, see the crowd, and, you know, kind of get the pre first, you know, beginning of the game jitters out, and then you know after that, I think I'm gonna just play basketball. Do you have any connections to that Georgia State team you guys are playing? Any guys that you played with down there in AAU or high school or anything? Um, no, not that I know of. You know, I may check the roster and see somebody, but as of right now, nah, I don't know.
guys need that partnership? 